Two wild horses died after they got stuck in a muddy, dried up water pond. Some wild horse activists blame ranchers, but the Bureau of Land Management is pointing the finger at hot and dry weather conditions. We do want to give you a bit of a warning that what you're about to see you may find disturbing. Our Brian McElhatton has the story. Three horses trapped, two of them died, stuck in a mud hole as they looked for water. Anytime we get these hot uh, duration type drought situation, the Muddy Creek area uh, is one that we need to watch very closely because when the ponds dry up, then the, the horses are forced to move to other water sources. And that's what's unfortunately occurred uh, at this time. V. Gus War with the Bureau of Land Management says they tried to rescue the mayor but it was too late. We dispatched some of our personnel out of our price field office to hopefully try to get the mare out, retrieve her. When they arrived on site, the mare had been there long enough that she had pretty much exhausted herself. And she, in fact, she was just about transpired. And so unfortunately we did have to euthanize that mare out of humane purposes right there on the spot. A severely dehydrated foal trapped along with the mare had to be put down a few hours later. I mean, they shouldn't be able to take so much water that other animals are dying. Janelle Giorso with the Oregon Wild Horse Organization says her volunteers were among the first to spot the trapped horses. She blames ranchers for the state of the muddy water ponds. We have seen tankers from the, the local ranchers. They'll, they'll siphon the water off some of these ponds to fill their tanker trucks to use for, you know, they haul it off to fill troughs for cattle or maybe store it um, for later use. Well, the cattle are off there now, but the damage is done. But the BLM says otherwise. The things that the public really wants to bring up is they really want us to act immediately and start hauling water to wild horses. And that's something that as an agency, we typically do not do. We've done it in the past, but that's an artificial water source that uh, potentially could disrupt that natural migratory behavior of them animals and we don't want those horses or wildlife to be dependent on BLM hauling water. Officials say they're grateful to the public for reporting situations like this. We're trying to manage millions of acres out there uh, with a limited staff and uh, we do appreciate any public input. That was our Brian McLehatton reporting. Now, wild horses are native to North America, and there are various laws in place that help protect and preserve the species. To know more about these laws and about efforts being taken to save them, you can visit our website, abc4.com.